Um, all right, so here we have a um, bit of a lengthy one, but okay. Um, so we've got a salad spinner that a cook um, gets up to a, an angular speed of uh, 20 revolutions. Um, in five seconds or um, our omega is 20 times 2 pi over five seconds which is equal to 8 pi per second um, <clears throat> and then he stops spinning it and it slows down at a constant angular speed and it rotates six more times. So our delta theta after stopping it is uh, six revolutions, which is equal to six times two pi radians or 12 pi. <clears throat> and it asks, what is the magnitude of the angular acceleration? Okay, so if our, if our angular acceleration is constant, then uh, this equals our d omega by dt. And we can solve for um, omega by integrating these expressions um, from omega naught to omega i, from zero to t. So omega, or to omega, sorry, from omega naught to omega. So omega is uh, alpha t minus omega naught. And now we can get our theta expression um, similarly. So theta, omega is uh, d theta by dt. So d theta is equal to omega dt. Or if we integrate from theta naught to theta, Um, and integrate from 0 to t, then we would get uh, theta minus theta naught is equal to alpha t minus omega naught integral dt, which is equal to uh, 1 half alpha t squared minus omega naught t. minus omega naught t, there we go. Okay, um, so this on this side I've left it like this because this is our delta theta. And so we can solve for our time here in terms of our alpha, as we know our delta theta is 12 pi and that equals a half alpha t squared minus our omega naught, which is um, eight pi um, per second, okay? So rearranging this, we would have zero is a half alpha t squared minus eight pi per second uh, why is that minus? Oh, that should be plus, sorry. Doink. Yeah, this should have been plus up here, my apologies. So this should be plus and plus. There we go, and minus 12 pi. Okay, so then our t is minus eight pi plus or minus square root of eight pi squared minus four times a half alpha times 12 pi, all square rooted over uh, two a, so just alpha. Um, 
And so we can't really do solve this because we don't know what alpha is, but we can make some simplifications here. So I'm going to take out 8 squared. Um, and so this will be uh, minus, or I'm going to take out the 8 pi completely, minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus, and then if we take out the 8 pi from here, then this is, or 8 pi squared, I should say, then this is um, 3 over 8, and pi on the bottom, alpha 1 over second squared are the units. And this should be one over seconds. Um, and I uh, know it shouldn't. My apologies. Um, but this. Oh yeah. There we go. So this is all divided by, or this is divided by alpha. So I'll just put it there. And. So this alpha will cancel with this per second squared, um, making that unitless. The one will be unitless. And um, this will actually be, yeah, okay. So that looks good. Um, and now uh, time can't be negative, so the plus, oops, so the plus solution is the only one here that matters. So our time is eight pi over alpha. Oh yeah, that should be per seconds. So what am I doing? There we go. Um, <clears throat> times. Uh, and so the 1 over seconds divided by the 1 over seconds squared will give us seconds. So square root 1 minus 3 over 8 pi alpha per second squared minus 1. So that's our time. Okay. Um, and so then going back to our omega expression we have that alpha times time is omega f minus omega naught as we have that omega is alpha t uh, plus omega naught and so we can solve <clears throat> for our alpha with this expression and so we know that omega f is zero, and we know that omega naught is eight pi per seconds. So that means that alpha times our time uh, one minus three over eight pi alpha per second squared minus one is equal to minus eight pi per seconds. Uh, so our alpha actually cancels here and then we can divide by our eight pi. So we get root one minus three over eight pi alpha per second squared minus one is equal to minus one over one over seconds. So dividing by this eight pi, we can now add one, um, and that will actually cancel the per seconds on this side as well, because we've got a per second there. So now we can add one, giving us square root of one minus three over eight pi alpha equals zero. Uh, square both sides. So then we get one minus three over eight pi. Oh, I made a whole bunch of mistakes. Um, 
because this should have been a minus sign there, meaning that's plus, meaning that's plus, meaning that's plus, 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 plus. There we go. Let's grab both sides. And then uh, rearranging this now for alpha, we have that alpha. Um, uh, yeah, and I messed up the units there too, so that should just have been second squared the whole time. So then alpha is minus 8 pi over 3 per second squared. So it was a little messy there. <clears throat> And I messed up a couple of units, um, but that's the answer that it comes out to be. So, yeah, so I messed up a couple of units and a couple of signs, but um, <laughs> that shows why uh, you need to pay attention closely when you're running through things. But there's our, our angular acceleration that the spinner is slowing down at. Now if we run through the solution here, um, they did it a significantly easier way. Um, so there's our initial velocity, which is our eight pi per seconds. Um, at our final is zero. And so instead we could have just used that omega squared is omega naught squared minus two alpha delta theta. Um, <clears throat> and just plugged in our values, which would have given us our eight pi over three. Um, but the negative sign would be wrong? Yeah, there'd be no negative sign. Hmm, interesting. Um, but in any case, that looks good. Um, and if anything, I showed how how possible it is to have errors if you're if you're not paying close attention. Okay, so that looks good. Um, and I'm actually going to stop it there um, and say I hope you enjoyed this session. Uh, if you did, please subscribe. Uh, if you want to leave questions, uh, follow the links below the video. Uh, this has been Jeff Kraus for One Class.